I appreciate all the new subscribers from the last video on the breakfast video. But what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to teach you guys how to make a excellent pizza dough that you can turn into calzones, any type of pizza you want. Um, let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get the measuring cup out. Ah, if I can find it, I think it's in here. We probably already used it today. Maybe it's in here. It should have been a little more organized, but it's somehow disappeared. So the measuring cup is not where I need it. I'm trying to make this easy for you guys. Because me, I just take some hot water. We're just going to go that way. We get the faucet going nice and warm. The reason we're going to do the warm water is because the yeast is going to activate in warm water a lot more quickly. So, we're going to go in with some warm water. Probably, we're going to go with about three cups of warm water. Okay. Three to four cups. I'm making oh, okay. Okay. Pretty big bath. Okay. So now we're going to go in that water with a teaspoon of yeast. All right, this is Fleshman's yeast, active dry yeast. Not sponsored, guys. Not sponsored? Wow, that's hard to get off. My goodness, let me see what we got. Okay, I don't know who put the lid on this, probably me. But this thing is on good, guys. <laughs> You're gonna battle, Papa Virus is battling the yeast. Oh my gosh, we got it. Finally, look what we do here, guys. We got a tablespoon. Let's go in with a tablespoon. I'm making a double batch. I'm going to go one and a half tablespoons because I'm making a little extra dough today, guys. Normal batch will give you about four doughs. This one's going to give us six to seven doughs. All right, so a tablespoon and a half of yeast. Lots of dough. Yes. We're going to give you a tablespoon of sea salt, right? And just put it in your palm. Throw it in. A tablespoon of sea salt. Alright, garlic powder, it's optional, but I like it, it gives it a little, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I go also with a teaspoon of onion powder, alright, that's going to give it a little extra flavor, and you know, I like to take a bit, about a teaspoon of organic sugar, now it doesn't have to be organic, I like it a little sweet, it could be condensed milk even, or it could be white sugar, Put a little bit of sugar to sweeten the dough up a little bit. Alright, so let's put that away. Now we're going to go into the bowl. What I'm going to say here on this batch, this is a double batch, we're going to go in here with some olive oil. We're probably going to be looking at about three tablespoons of olive oil. Alright, boom, that's done. Alright. Uh, let's go through it, guys. Yeast. We've got water. We've got yeast. I just bumped the white. Oh, thanks, Bo. Thanks for bringing a little disco light into the action. All right, once again, warm water, yeast, sea salt, garlic powder, and I just hit again. Onion mistake. powder, and olive oil, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to whisk this together. Get it all together. Now that that's all together, let's get ourselves a wood spoon. We're going to need the wood spoon and the whisk. Now here's what we're going to do. Flour. It smells disgusting. Yes, it always does. Mikey never likes the smell. Pizza virus does not like the smell of the pizza dough when it's being made. So anyway, we yeah. have ourselves, I like to get unbleached flour. And then we get this whisked in, so mix it with the water a little bit with the until it, with the uh, whisk, just until it gets starts getting thick. And then we're going to switch over to the wood spoon. Subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn how to impress your parents with uh, cooking. And uh, obviously, we all like to eat, so. And so you can survive. And you can survive on a very tight budget, guys. Remember that. You know, you don't have to be rich to. The stuff I make is on a budget. You can make enough pizza for 20 people for the price of peanuts. 50 cents a person or less. Alright, so now we're going to come out of here with the whisk. Oh boy, let me 
Cassie. No, I just wanted to burp. That pizza? Pizza P over here burping away. All right, now we're switching over to the stove, guys. Let's dump in some flour now, because this one, we're going to have to switch over to another thing of flour. All right, so we're going to incorporate this all beautifully here now with this wood spoon. So we just come in and literally just mix, fold the flour in. Just fold it in like a mixing machine would just go like this, right? Now it smells better. Uh, huh? It smells better. Yep, the mixing machine is going to just mix it like that. Alright, and we're going to mix this, get this really well mixed. Alright, there you go, keep getting that flour from the bottom, bringing it up. Alright, this is a lot of work because we've got a double batch here. This is going to be six, probably about six doughs once it rises, rather than three or four. Depending on the size of the dough balls you're going to make, it's going to determine how many you get, obviously. Let's go to the backup pouch of flour. Alright. Let's add some flour to this. Now, we're almost ready to just work this with the hands, guys. Honestly, we're very close. So hands? Let's dump this in. Ew, my James. Hand. Yeah, my hands are clean. I washed them three times. Mikey, I can't speak for you, but... Bad. <laughs> Bad. All right, so use the flour as like a means of getting the the dough off of the of the wood spoon, right? Yeah. Just take the flour, dump it on, and use that as a means of getting that off, right? Yeah. All right, guys, we're about to dive in here. Our spoon is clean, right? We got ninety percent of the the dough off of that. We take that, get rid of it. Right, no. Now, now we go around like this with your hands and you push that flour into the into the dough and you see how it's starting to come together, right? Beautifully. This is going to be some nice dough for the pizza party tomorrow night. We are going to have ourselves a pizza party. We got neighbors, we got friends, we got family, church friends coming over. And we're going to make a bunch of pizzas. And everybody's going to get to make their own style pie because we're going to have lots of toppings and a little more flour in here, just enough to get it to not stick to your hands. All right, you don't want that moisture. Okay, so you just keep pushing it through. Cameraman, you need a cameraman. Whoa, whoa, easy there, cameraman. I'm just messing up. All right, guys. So basically what we got here, we dump out the dough, oh, okay, oh touch that, we don't want any, we're dusting for fingerprints on this, touch, alright now guys, see what we got, we just take all our dough, we put it in the middle, alright, and now we just, we press it all in, I'm missing all the stuff, yup, nope, press it all in, alright, all this dough, oh no we don't, Alright, a lot of dough guys. Alright, let's get all that incorporated, right? Fold it over. See, it's a lot of work making this dough, but once you have this dough made, the rest of it is simple to build. Once you have your dough ready to go, no pun intended, but then you'll be in good shape. So basically we're done making dough? Yep, we're or? done guys. I'm just going to, see this? We're making one nice ball now. Alright, what's going to happen is this is the ball right here, you're just folding it under, right? Pinching it, folding it, pinching it, folding it, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this, we're going to let this rise. Alright, this is going to rise in this bowl right here, right? We're going to take this like this, right? I bet you we already have a thousand subscribers, I bet you. Oh, I don't know. You probably already do because like Pinch you have like, under. You have only 944 right now. Oh, wow. 944 subs? Yes. Well, thank you very much, guys. We're going to catch up with this dough. And the videos in two weeks. And the videos will be coming. Uh, what we're going to do with all this dough. We're not deli people.
people who do daily videos. Right. I, at least my channel does. So. Mikey Pizza Virus does. Oh boy. Shout out, subscribe. Oh because boy. now my dad has more subscribers. So it's like. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. really? Yes, he did. On a cooking video. Well, people like food, bro. Yeah, but people you also know, like and, gaming. Oh. Okay. And my dog. Alright, here we go. This is going back in here, guys. That dough is ready to go. So what's going to happen? We're just going to cover that up now. We're done. Thanks for coming out, guys. Subscribe and uh, send some likes, man.